American Family Field, the home of the NL Central winning Milwaukee Brewers, where the 2021 National League Division Series on TBS is presented by Good Sam. It is jam-packed. It is loud. The roof is closed as we get game one of the NLDS started. It's the Atlanta Braves matched up against the Milwaukee Brewers. Game one coming to you from Milwaukee. And at the top of that order is Jorge Soler, one of the newcomers. He's in right field with Freddie Freeman at first base. Ozzie Albies at second base with Austin Riley at third. He's a National League ERA leader, first in the history of Milwaukee. 34 walks for him this year, as you see, which is unbelievable. It's ball four and a leadoff walk for Soler. There you go. Game one of the NLDS. Soler goes. That's ball four. And it gets away, so Soler will keep on going. He's headed for third, and he'll get there with a slide. On the ground, down the first baseline. It's fair ball. Out there, throw to the plate. Soler is out there. Double play. That was huge. Soler tries to get in the back door from third as Albies grounds out. It turns into two. Wow. This gets away and heading for third base is Freeman. The throw there will be late. Took off right away on a ball in the dirt and Freeman takes third. Did he go? Yes, he did. They ring him up. Riley strikes out and Burns does indeed get out of this first unscathed. The strikeout his first ends the inning. Braves don't score. Brewers are coming up. Hold long at second base leading it off with Willie Adamas the difference maker at short. Yelich in left Garcia in right. Telez at first. Escobar. See this year 216 strikeouts. 127 strikeouts on that curveball for Charlie Morton. Swing and a miss and striking out is Colt Wong, the former St. Louis Cardinal, down by way of the K. That is strike three and it's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Charlie Morton to start this ball game. Got him. Strikes out the side. A little more protection for him in this lineup than there was in Miami. He waves at that and strikes out. That is ball four. Who's headed to the dugout, but another walk, the third allowed by Burns in his Logan back grounder left side. Adamas will go the easy way to second for the fourth shot that wraps up the top of the second. We're scoreless in game one. Swing and a miss, and Telez strikes out. It's four strikeouts for Charlie Morton out of the gate today. Waves at that and strikes out. Back to back K's, five and all for Morton. Scoreless through two. Finds that. That is strike three. Solaire will lift this in the air to deep center field. Back goes Lorenzo Kane. It'll take him to the dirt of the track, but he's there to make the catch. One of the deepest parts of the yard here. Got him. The cutter to get him. 2 2 again from Charlie Morton. Line opposite field base hit for Lorenzo Kane. First hit. On the grass at third is Riley. Anticipating the butt. There it is, but it goes first base way. Freeman's going to second, and it's in time. Nabs the lead runner in Kane. No hesitation there from Freddie Freeman. A big key to getting that runner at second base. Now, well, Freddie Freeman won a gold glove last year at first base for the Atlanta Braves. Former St. Louis Cardinal, who strikes out to end the inning. Six strikeouts for Morton through three without a score. Shift on the left side here against Riley. He takes it the other way, popping it up, sending Telez into foul ground. And the Brewers first baseman makes the catch for out number two. Here is Duvall who pops it up into short left, sending Adamas backpedaling. Calling and catching out number three. That's his history. And on a run and won the division as Adamas strikes out. The high fastball he chases. Strikeout number seven for Charlie Morton. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out of the 96. Eight strikeouts for Morton. We're scoreless through four. Bloop to shallow center out is and unable to make the catch long. Right in front of Kane, and there's your first hit, Rosario. 
On the ground to third, could be two. Escobar to second for one, on to first, it is two. Around the horn go the Brewers, 5-4-3 on the DP. Line to left, and that is going to get in for a base hit in front of Yelich. A two-out single for Dansby Swanson. Grounded back to the mound softly. Burns will throw to first. That'll end the inning. The experience of the postseason for Charlie Morton. Ah! That's strike three, make it nine strikeouts for Morton. Two down here in the fifth inning. Over the shift into right. Solaire's not going to get there. Play it on a hop. But it's a base hit for Narvaez. Kind of fought that off. Now, grounder left side to the back end of Swanson will go to second for the force out that will end the inning. Good way to finish off. Swings at the 2 2 and strikes out. Five strikeouts for Corbin Burns and goes to the cutter to get it it's jammed and grounds into the shift. It's Wong running in to throw him out. Two down. Strike three call. Albies hates it. It's the sixth strikeout for Burns. We're scoreless. He does to lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. Ahead 3-0. and oh. And he walks on four pitches. The first walk allowed by Morton is Vogelback. Wong lifts a fly ball. Short left field. Swanson out. Rosario towards the line will get there to make the catch. He went a very long way. In the air to center. Duvall started back, now comes in a few steps to make the catch. He got fooled on that one. Fly ball down the left field line. Rosario over towards the line, has a play, and he makes it. He's been the, a starter for the Brewers almost all year. 28 appearances, 26 of them starts. Well, he's got one of those, we said, a great sinker to these righties. Slowly rolled left side. Adamas races in, throws on the run, and in time. Nice play by Willie Adamas to retire Riley for the first out of the seventh inning. Well, and you see it right there. 59% ground ball rate, third in the NL. Grounder right side. It's into the shift. It's Escobar, third baseman. Tossed to first, ends the inning. Three ground ball out, seventh inning stretch without a score. Yeah, he's taking some time. Yeah, he's really upset with himself now. Hits him. The head one and two. And hits Garcia. One, two. Fly ball headed out towards deep right center field. Duvall looking up and that ball is gone. A two run home run for Roddy Telez puts the Brewers on top. Two nothing. Massive blast to right center field for Telez. Well, he got a fastball mistake and punished that thing all the way off the top of the scoreboard in center field, or bottom part of it, excuse me. Tied for the most games, 71 games this year for the Atlanta Braves. And he's second in MLB and holds in 31, and that pitch you just saw. Line back where it came from and into center field. Escobar, the ringing single over the shoulder of Luke Jackson. Narvaez into the shift. Albies will go to second for one to first for two. Double play turned by the Braves. They needed that, and they're able to turn it. To third, the big high hop for Austin Riley, who throws out Kane, but the damage has been done by the Milwaukee Brewers, and namely, Rowdy Telez, his two-run home run, puts Milwaukee on top, 2-0. Strikes him out for the first out of the eighth inning. Sinker, one of the best in baseball. On the ground to third. And down the line guarding it was Escobar. The throw is in time. Two down. Fly ball left field. Sending Yelich back going towards the wall. And that ball is gone. Home run for Jock Peterson. Coming off the bench to pinch hit. And a pinch hit home run for Peterson. Cuts the Brewers' lead in half for Atlanta.
He gets out. 0 2 comes back to hit a solo home run. I really what set that up. He laid off two tough off speed pitches. Chopped left side. Cut off by Escobar. Throw is good. And the inning is over. The Chuck Peterson off the bench into the game with a pinch hit home run. Gets the Braves within one as we head to the bottom of the eighth. It is on to the bottom of the eighth inning, and it's on to Tyler Nadzik for the Atlanta Braves. Pops it up into shallow right. Albies going out to make the catch over the shoulder. He was in the shift. On the ground down the line at third. A little stumble by Riley. He's got no play. Ball four. And he walks Yelich. Two on down for Milwaukee here in the bottom of the eighth. Swing and a miss. And Garcia strikes out. Matzik gets out of the jam. Josh Hader will be coming into this game and we come back for the ninth inning and be dealing with Freddie Freeman. And one of the best closers in baseball, actually the best closer in baseball. Let me say that again. That's ball four, and Freddie Freeman, a leadoff walk to begin the ninth inning for Atlanta. Swing and a miss, and all these strikes out for the first out of the ninth inning. One on, one out, and Austin Riley lines this one into left field for a base hit. Freddie Freeman takes second base on the single by Riley. And the Braves have runners at first and second with one away. Little number front of the plate. Out is Narvaez going to second base. They get the out there. So he comes up firing to second, able to get Riley at second base. Forced out for out number two as Freeman takes third. Orlando Arcia is going to pinch hit for Eddie Rosario. The former Brewer. On the ground to second base. Wong took a step toward second and fires to first. Ball game over. Brewers take game one. Hater's first career postseason save. The Braves lead Freddie Freeman at third base, and the Brewers take a 1 0 lead in this series. They down the Braves 2 to 1.